All right, everyone, how's it going? It's Rick Racket back with you guys again with a new tutorial and a new microphone. Get a load of that, the Hypercast S. So I've decided it was t finally time to up the production value a little bit to the best of my ability anyway. And uh, yeah, so this is a really nice microphone. It's a lot better than that J-Labs mic I was using. That J-Labs mic was okay, like if you're just starting out or if you're in a position to where you don't have to move the microphone around too much or touch anything around the microphone because that son of a gun picks up every little sound uh to be fair i i didn't know that obs had like audio filters that would like cut down on a lot of that background noise but at the same time this is the way to go if you're kind of on a budget but uh you want something that's that's going to sound good i want something that's that's a better representation of the quality that I can offer for the channel uh, and I want to try and up the production values as much as I can a lot of it's going to be over time I got to try and get this room soundproofed uh, just for my own sake so I can come down here and record more often but anyway today is another dolphin tutorial and this time I'm going to show you how to adjust the trigger sensitivity on the dolphin emulator so basically you can play your GameCube games and have the triggers respond the way they're supposed to. One of the problems with using uh, GameCube games or Dolphin games, whatever you want to call them, out of the gate is that the sensitivity is way off. Uh, the game I'll be using as an example is, of course, the Twin Snakes. Uh, if you set this up right, you can have it so that you press down. I'll grab a controller here. You, you'll basically be able to press down all the way almost on the, the analog or the, not the analog, the trigger in order to quickly equip and unequip the weapon and then you'll have to hold down all the way in order to get it to bring up the item and weapon menu which is the way you want it uh, now the, the way you want to adjust the sensitivity may vary depending on the game this is the only game i've tried it with uh, i know one of the other big ones would be um, mario sunshine and i need to reinstall mario sunshine and give this a go with that but in the meantime, all I've got is the Twin Snakes in terms of games that really utilize the triggers. So once you go into the Dolphin menu, uh, I've got to go back so you can see the process. You're going to go over here and click these arrows, and, well, it does that a lot. Click these arrows, then go over to Controllers. And, and I pointed this out last time, but I'll point it out again. If you're using your Steam Deck to navigate the Dolphin menu as opposed to a mouse and keyboard, and if you have a mouse and keyboard, I would recommend going that route with it. But if you're using the Steam Deck, you have to hold down the Steam button while moving your thumb over the trackpad. And you have to keep your thumb held down on the Steam button in order for the, the mouse clicker to move around. Otherwise, it's just going to freeze in place. I don't know why that is, uh, but it just is. So all you got to do is go over here to where it says threshold and then just bump that up to 100. Uh, some people say go to 99. I say go all the way to 100. And then what I would do is go up here to where it says profile, uh, click on it, then press the steam button and the X button to bring up your on-screen keyboard. Uh, if it'll come up. Okay, well, it's wanting, to be, it's wanting to be stubborn right now. It'll usually pop up. It's one of those weird things with the Steam Deck. Sometimes things work the way they're supposed to, other times they don't. Let me try to click away from it just to see if it'll... Yeah, there we go. So I got it to pull up. Um, but anyway, just name it whatever you want. I already have a profile created called Deck 1. Once you've created that, just go over here to save and then you're good to go. Now, what I'm going to do, this this should work with pretty much all of your controllers. You, you, you don't have to adjust it for different controllers. Like you'll see this over here that says uh, Eve Dev, oh, Microsoft Xbox 360 gamepad. That's Basically, I think Dolphin on Steam Deck just recognizes every controller that way. Like, you can click this drop-down menu and have a whole list of controllers to choose from, but don't mess with any of that because you might screw something up. I did, and then I had to go in and reset all of the Dolphin settings. But I've used this with an Xbox 360 controller, and it keeps the sensitivity adjustment with that. I'm assuming it would do with other controllers as well. I, I can't guarantee that because I haven't tested any other controllers aside from just the Steam Deck and the Xbox 360 or uh, Xbox One controller. But uh, yeah, let's jump into a game. Uh, jump into the Twin Snakes and I'll show you how this works. One thing I'm going to point out real quick when it comes to Dolphin, uh, a lot of times if you launch Dolphin or, or really any game in general, but especially with Dolphin, uh, 
if you launch it with one controller and then you switch over to another, you may find that it doesn't work. What you want to do is hit the button on your Steam Deck, the, the three dot button on the right hand side. It looks like a someone once called it a fallen snowman. I think that's brilliant. So we'll call it that. But anyway, go over here to the gear icon and go to rearrange controllers. Click X on the controller that you're currently using and then just set it to number one. You just use the D-pad, go up or down, and uh, you're all good. But anyway, let's go into the twin snacks and I'll show you the trigger stuff. Right, so here we are in the twin snakes okay so i gotta try and dodge this crap while he's doing this so i'm gonna hold this up again this isn't going to be the best but i can basically go all the way down with it and just have it equip and unequip the gun and then if i want to bring up the menu i have to hold it i have to go all the way down and hold it in order for it to pull up and like i said you may have to adjust the sensitivity differently depending on the game you're using uh, this is what I find best for this game. But yeah, folks, there it is. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And leave a comment below if you have any questions about this tutorial. Uh, I, I'm really good about answering questions. I, I can't guarantee that I'll always have the answer, but I will do my best for you. And a little bit of uh, housekeeping before I go. Because I now have a much better microphone and am much more proficient with editing than I was when I kind of got back into doing this channel, I have decided that I'm going to go and redo some of my older playthroughs, uh, specifically the Twin Snakes and uh, what was the other one, Goldeneye. I'll probably end up redoing Metal Gear Solid 3 as well. Going forward, everything's just going to be on the Steam Deck in terms of my playthroughs. Uh, as opposed to playing it on PC or the Switch or this and that. There might be some ex exclusions for that. There's a game that comes out on the Switch that I really want to play on the channel. You know, I leave it open. But in general, I want to keep it like Steam Deck specific. I want to show you the, show you guys these games running on the Steam Deck. And I found out how to figure, or I figured out how to get the Twitch next to run and play on the Steam Deck and be able to play through the game in its entirety. So that's going to be the first one, and then I'll go about doing Metal Gear Solid 2, which I've been promising for months now. And uh, yeah, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, come check it out. It's basically going to be a repeat of my last playthrough where I play through the entire game without using first-person view mode, the often criticized first-person view mode. Turns out it's completely optional. Uh, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, come check it out. It's, my playthroughs are very laid back. I like to do those because it gives me a chance to give my thoughts on a particular game or the conversation surrounding the game and also talk about things in the news and stuff like that because I don't really want to do like specific news videos right now unless it's something that I'm really excited about like a Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 2. Like, come on guys, let's get that going. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'll have another Dolphin tutorial coming up probably next week. Uh, it's going to be very much in the same vein as, as these videos. It's, it's going to be more specific to the Twin Snakes, um, but it'll, it'll be something that you'll find useful, I think. So, again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, because I do these kinds of tutorials all the time, and I'm sure there's at least you'll come across at least one video that you'll find useful if you have a Steam Deck. But that'll do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.